What's up pretty gang, it's your favorite nail tech peaches back with another video and today I'm going to be discussing with you why your brush matters. Size, shape, handle, all of that. We're going to go into detail about that. I'm going to do a mini review on that white brush you just seen. You're going to want to watch all the way to the end because I mean I was pretty astonished at the quality to be honest. But yes, size, shape, everything matters about your brush. Your brush should be your best friend. It helps with everything. So before we get started, let's make sure you guys check the description for coupon codes as well as my Amazon storefront link. Follow me on social media, subscribe and turn your notifications on. You don't want to miss out. I've got some really good educational stuff coming for you guys. So this brush was sent to me by a company and I actually was paid to do this, right? To do this review, but my opinion still stands. Okay. So this company, if I can pull the specs up, Dashboard Beauty. Okay, they reached out to me and said, hey, uh, would you like to try our brushes, right? I was honest with them and I told them, hey, I'm going to be honest. I use a size 20 brush. I asked them, do they even know what kind of Kalinsky hair? Um, my brush is Japanese Kalinsky's. Um, some brushes are German Kalinsky. They said they did not know. However, size 12 is their biggest size brush, which I did tell them. Once again, I use size 20. But I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Maybe this would be something for some of my viewers. Now, right off the bat, you can kind of see that this brush is extremely oval shaped, right? Now, I'm going to show you why shape and size matters. So here's a comparison of my brush, which is the black handle versus the other brush. Now, the other brush is still glued at the tip. If you didn't know, brushes come with a little bit of glue to keep the shape. That is clearly an oval brush. That notch in my brush is where it is pinched, and that's what gives it the flattened shape. Now really quickly, you can just see once my brush is wet, look at the bristles and what type of swipe you may get. Now versus this type of brush, you can see once it's wet, it's clearly very oval shaped, very, very skinny. Um, this is actually kind of small for a size 12 in my opinion. The length of the bristles are pretty similar, you know, but you can just tell right off the bat there is a clear difference. I was trying to feel for the quality and the bristles on the other one to see if they're 100% Kalinsky. Still not all the way sure. But again, this is my brush, right? A big bodied brush from the nail supply, size 20. It is pinched, okay? Now, I want you guys to see the application. This is how much liquid it can hold, right? When your brush is wet, that's going to show you what shape your brush is. Now, if you like a brush that is going to be more of a square-ish shape like I have, you will definitely need to pinch your brush. That is something that I get done at the nail supply and it does help with being able to um, get into the cuticle area for example now you can see with a bigger brush you're able to hold more product and you can see that my brush is pretty much as big as the bead and i am able to cover a whole lot of surface area in a short amount of time now the technique that i personally use when i do acrylic is a pat and pull motion so you can see i'm pulling it i'm able to kind of just drag the end down and even still i'm able to kind of take that extra product and just stick it right on top now we're not focusing on having a perfect application i kind of just plop that bead up there and although it's not a perfect application this gives me the chance to show you guys what this shape of brush does now you can see i'm able to get right up against that cuticle area and pull that product down now even though that product was starting to stiffen up because my brush is larger that means the bristles are more packed there's way more bristles and the body of my brush is way more solid than a smaller brush the shape of my brush allows me to really get into those cuticle areas and you can see that because it's more of a squared shape at the tip all the bristles are pretty flat so i'm able to clean up mistakes quickly and as you just saw even though it looks like a mess was getting ready to be had i didn't panic or anything because i know my brush has got my back your brush is your best friend if you are using the wrong type of brush it's gonna show right if your brush is dirty it's gonna show everything now why the hell the dog's gonna have to bark right now uh, y'all we're gonna have to just ignore that okay um but anyways the shape and size of your brush play a significant part if you're having trouble to get the type of liquid to powder ratios that you like and things like that take into account that if you're using a smaller brush you're gonna have to use the according like the ratios that work for that particular brush okay now in a second you're gonna see the application was an oval brush and why i personally don't prefer it and why sometimes getting your brush pinched actually helps okay so this is what the application looks like just my own brush right 
So you can see this brush, when it gets wet, it is completely opal. You can see that it holds way less product, right? In comparison, look at the bead that I had before versus this one. And look at how the bead sits on the brush. With an oval brush like this, it rounds up at the tip versus a more square shaped brush to where the acrylic kind of is more elongated across the span of the tip. And when you lay it down, it covers a whole lot more. Now, I was surprised by actually how small this brush felt. It kind of felt like I wasn't holding anything. Um, I have not used this size brush probably since nail school and even still in nail school, I was already at a size 14 because I lost my size 12. But you can see the way the bristles kind of, even look when I go ahead and do the tip like this, I have to do it multiple times because I'm not able to remove all the product that I need. If this is more of a swiping motion that I'm having to do, even though I'm using the same technique as like patting and pulling, this pretty much feels like a paintbrush, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. And if you're having a hard time with taking a long time during sets, it's more than likely the shape of this brush, which is oval, does not hold very much product and neither does this size, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the cuticle bead, right? And I'm gonna show you the difference of why this particular shape, an oval brush, does not do the trick all the time. So as I lay this bead down, you're gonna notice that as it goes into the cuticle area, and I'm trying to tuck it into there so we can have a flawless and flush cuticle area, what's actually happening is as I'm pressing it in there, there are dents that are being created around the cuticle area and you'll see from certain angles that you will still be able to see the color of her nail if you look closely because I'm not able to flawlessly get in there because it is oval and it's kind of like pointed at the tip if that makes sense. And I'm trying to work with this brush as if it is the same shape as my old brush but every time it gets wet that's not the shape that it keeps. So you can see because it's so small and so thin pretty much what's going on is I'm not able to drag product down so this is taking a lot more time for me to get a flawless look and right here you can see I'm trying to get into the cuticle area and the way that I'm um, cleaning my brush on the paper towel I'm trying to like flatten it because that's what I'm used to but honestly you see in that corner up there how the product's not getting everywhere it needs to go this just dot just does not have the manpower that you need okay so that's the main differences now as far as this brush itself i'm gonna be honest you guys i was not very pleased i noticed it got dirty very easily and it was not easily cleanable now i did put these both in acetone at the same time when i took this brush out i was appalled at how all the paint came off of the handle now this is why i like going to the nail supply to get my brushes because you can see my brush although it gets cleaned in acetone and brush cleaner my brush holds up i talk to people all the time and tell people like Handles look pretty and look cute, but you guys, they don't stand up against acetone. And also, these brushes were in acetone for 30 minutes and already the shape is completely warped and I have not been able to get it back, right? My brush was slightly warped a little bit, you know, the, the bristles are to the side, but look at how easily I can maneuver them back in place. And that's kind of making me think, making me wonder if they are 100% Kalinske bristles just for that particular reason. I was not happy, so I will not be linking this below for you guys to use because if it's already, that means that the handle's not acetone resistant, so there's no point in, like, you're not going to be able to use the handle. You guys, I basically had to walk around with paint on my fingers all day long until I took a shower, and, I mean, the bristles itself, they're pretty much destroyed, um, and I let these brushes soak for maybe 30 minutes. I mean, I can let my brush soak for hours, and this will not happen. Okay, so I will not be linking this down below at all. They did ask if I want to do a coupon code and I said I would want to use it for myself before I'm comfortable um, giving you guys a discount on it. So I apologize. And you can see the paint comes right off of mine. So I just want you guys to know, yes, your brush does matter. Size matters, shape matters all the way down to the material of the handle and the types of bristles you're using. So I'm hoping this helps somebody in trying to discover the right brush for them. Uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.